two token trans guys toke and talk life, love, and getting high. Grab a J and join us. Some adult situations may occur. Viewer discretion is advised. 18 and only audience. 18 and only. Cut that. 18 and up audience. Trigger warning, sexual content, and genital mentions. Tell these people who you are. We're okay, yeah, so my name is Bo Dubois. Nice to meet you. Um, my pronouns are he, him, and my sun sign is a Cancer. I'm also a Gemini moon and a Sagittarius rising, but yes, you don't know that information. I've been slowly yourself, learning from so. your stories, believe it or not. Like, oh. slowly, you're like posting more things. I'm like, okay, all right, I'm getting it now. All right, so uh, introduce yourself. Yes, my name's Aaron C. Kapner. I uh, do YouTube, and I have a Gemini sign. That's what I know. And I, yes, a Gemini, what's it, my sun sign? Is that what yes, that's called? Sun sign. Yes, and my pronouns are he, him. And, yeah. How long have you been on testosterone? When did you come out? I, okay, so I came out as gay in probably at the end of middle school. Um, as like, and I was just about girls and everyone. It was very obvious that I was attracted to women. Um, and then I just, I just, instead of praying it away for a while, I just decided to, you know what, this is it, this is my thing, it's meant to be, let's roll with it. So I rolled with it anyway, and, um, and then probably, probably in junior, senior year, I started to realize, like, these pronouns are wrong, um, I'm not really feeling this, uh, something's, like, I just, it makes no sense, like, when they split girls and boys, like, everyone knows that it's, like, not fair that I'm on the girls' team. Like, it's obvious to everybody. So, probably junior, senior year, I started to take it seriously and do some research, and, um, I found myself in that YouTube hole for a while, listening to tons of experiences and comparing mine, and, oh, that's the same, oh, that's really different, or just kind of, like, educating myself, because I was very sheltered, very church Three, three days a week church kind of thing. So, I mean, I barely even knew what gay meant, let alone that, that you could have a sex change. All I knew is that that was... People have sex changes. I mean, they're over here. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I, I mean, you know, so that was the most. So I was just soaking up all this information on all these different experiences that I'd never heard of in my entire life. And I was like, duh, this makes so much sense. Like, I feel like the adults that knew what the hell was going on it was trying everything they could to make sure that this didn't happen, and it was obvious it was gonna happen from the start, so. I, eighth grade, decided to accept it, just kinda took the negatives that went with it, and then in high school, or after I did my research and I got those other experiences under my belt, I really just, I knew what I needed to do and like by like a acknowledging it within myself but it takes a while it's not it's not something that you can at least for me it was not something that it was like okay boom these are the hormone these are the pronouns that I want it was a very like long process I like mentioned it to my girlfriend at the time and we like like practice pronouns and um, it, it was tricky but it, it, after a while, I started to, like, I looked forward to the he so much more. And I noticed myself just, like, every time, like, holding the door open, being like, oh, I hope this lady says thank you, sir, like, that kind of stuff. And it was like, oh, okay, this is just getting more and more obvious. I tried the Packer thing and tried the buy, and I was like, this is, this is right. So, yeah. And so I started Hormones in 2017, November 3rd, 2017. And I am pre-op. I don't have any surgery. I just, I'm on hormones, and, um, yeah, that's my story. So your, your three years is coming up. Is it three or four? It's four, yeah, my four years four is coming years. up. Wow. Yes. It's been oh my gosh. a journey. <laughs> it has. Wild. Your beard is looking thick Thank and you. full. Thank it's you. Beautiful. Do you do anything to it? <laughs> I should, but I don't. <laughs> I, oh my uh, god. I just like let it grow and then I, I at a minute after a minute I'm like all right let's go down to like a th three or a four and then let it come back to its thing. I just want to note that your beard on four uh, about four years and I'm coming up on my three years in October mm -hmm. and I got nothing. No you do have I mean, something. I, got, I, I, I got see some, that. It's I got connecting. Some, 
but yeah, it's, he's starting to connect, and yeah. it's definitely hairier on this side than the other. Oh, but wait. this is, we're only a year apart. Right. Yeah. And your your beard was still just as full last year, if I recall. Right. I mean, yeah, I had a little bit more patchy right here, but yeah, it was a little more. It was a little thicker, but it's so much to do about like your genes, like your, your parents. Right. Do, were they? Yes. Do they grow a full beard? Are they able I don't, to? I don't know a lot about the male side of my family because. You right. Know, sure. I'm not connected to that side of my family, so. Sure. It's a lot of. It's a lot of guessing with me, but uh -huh. I, I get a lot of questions sure. of people saying, you know, like, I've been on tea for two years and I don't have anything. Honey, me yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, I two know. years I had six chin hairs. I was trying to help them grow with some uh, some Rogaine because sure. the doctor said it was safe. And, um, it's, you know, it's just be patient. And if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, then... Exactly. Uh. I can see it, though. It's shaping your face, dude. I'm liking it. It's feeling good. Yeah. Feeling it. I'm feeling it. Tell these you people your best. story. How long are you? Oh. What? Who are you, Bo? Tell us about well, Bo. Bo wasn't always Bo, right? Bo. And I came out as gender fluid under the name Lennon and the pronouns they, them. Because a friend of mine came out on Tumblr and I had no idea what the fuck. Like, I had... I knew that, that people were that, but I didn't know it was something that I could be. And I certainly didn't know that gender fluidity was a thing or anything non-binary was a thing. And so I talked about it with them for a little bit and I was like, oh my God, I think this is me. And so I was letting they them for a while. I had some great experiences with people uh, learning from me and family members, you know, that was my first time coming out to my adopted family and they were just so welcoming. That's awesome. And then I started going by they, he, because mm. I was like, mm, I guess, I mean, cis people have such a hard time with the in-between, you know? They don't yes. understand they, them. So I was like, okay, to make it easier for them, sure. to make it easy for me, sure. I'll pick a binary mm -hmm. pronoun. And she doesn't feel good, but I could, I'd rather be he than she. And then he started feeling real nice, right? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, <laughs> and then, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man, all right, okay, he, him, uh -huh. period. Sure. And then Lennon, people started hearing Lennon on the phone, and they're like, oh, hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. And I'm like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. This isn't working for me anymore. I need some short, <laughs> sweet, and to the point. Well. Yep. Got Bo. Bo. Now, here I am. I've Bo. been on T since October 22nd, 2018. Nice. My voice has changed not a lot. <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't think I've, I have seen pictures of you pre-T, but I don't think I've seen any videos or even Oh my God, wait, wait till after we're done recording. I'll show you. Yes. Video. I will also, well, we'll have to do some, because this is like a podcast, right? So we'll have to, I'll have to feature that in there somewhere. Oh yeah, for sure. So people can oh, yeah. literally my, my hear the difference. Just, I'm, I'm definitely being dramatic when I say that my voice right. hasn't changed. It's right. changed. Sure. But, you know, I still have this semi little voice. I can go down here for more. I mean, you can exactly put it where you want it but, to go. Mine, but it's like, mine it's crack, not natural it's down there. I've been on T for like almost four years, and my voice cracks like I'm on three months on T sometimes. It's yeah, awful. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, yes. um, Aaron. Yeah. Today, I wanted to talk about a uh, pretty polarizing topic, if yeah. you don't mind. I'd love to. What do you, what do you, what do you okay. have planned? I'm thinking, how about we talk about being stealth? Yes. And not being stealth, because... That is tricky. That is a tricky decision. Mm -hmm. So, um, have, have you ever been stealth? Is that ever your intention? Lord. I live in Tennessee, so pretty thick Bible Belt area. I... Everyone, unless you follow me on social media, which a lot of people do in, in my like in my in, in intermediate circle, but for the most part, these other people that I meet, or if I go to the store or anything like that, I it's you you can't tell, and people around here assume so hard, like they think so binary, and and like they don't even think twice about it. Like I could not bind at all. And go and go to the store, and they would think like, "Oh, that dude's got man titties." You know what I mean? Like that's what they would think, and they would go about, like because they like their brains, like the people, at least the people that I've talked to, 
don't really notice those things, you know. Um, so, in a way, I still, I mean, everyone, I guess some everyone is kind of stealth at some point, like for people that don't know them, I just feel like a lot of that happens to me a lot more. Even though I'm not, I don't consider myself stealth at all, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I'll, you have to, it's pretty obvious information. Yeah. You have, you have your, your Facebook group, the Lone Wolf District. I do, yes. Where you're pretty, uh, you're pretty open about your transness and accepting to other people who are trans. And also, just a little plug that if anybody wanted to join, you have your monthly giveaways based on yes. engagement. Which are the really fun engage this this month's uh task is about uh grounding yes yourself and you're you're asking everyone to to take a photo of their feet touching the ground sure which is very healing and uh you know good good for you for starting that group because you're you're helping a lot of people over there thanks my dude i appreciate you uh shouting out the group yeah I've, you're I've, welcome they get and, uh yeah and your your youtube with the with your your trans tape tutorials and stuff you're very sure. open about being trans yeah very not stealth over here no right yeah Which, yeah what do you what are, what do you have you ever considered it i you know there was a point in time probably before testosterone and my experience with it where sure that was probably a goal of mine to be stealth right but I think I was also confusing it with passing. Passing. And that, right. I hate passing, passing air quotes, so much. Passing. Yeah, we both feel the same way about passing. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's a double-edged sword. We all want it, but, you know, you gotta understand that it's based on cis perception. Yeah. And cis acceptance, and we can't base our worth off of what... No cis people perceive us as and right. uh that doesn't I, make you who you are right exactly yeah and which it's it's been uh, a struggle for me um sounding the way that i do and acting the way that i do having like carrying myself the way that i do and the mannerisms that i have are very feminine still i like i paint my nails mm -hmm. i've also stopped by my nails which is astounding. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> yes! I know that's a good sign. Yeah, so I, um, you know, I paint my nails so I don't bite them, and, like, I, I'm talking lower now because I'm conscious. Because now it, you're but, thinking, oh, right, right now I'm thinking all. about it, but normally I have such a head voice, and, um, at, at work I get misgendered all the time, despite the fact that I have very visible facial hair, even Ugh. though it's patchy. And I have, you is know, it the mask? pink and orange is hair. Right, with, even with the mask, you can still see, like, right. you know, because it ends here. You can still see my sideburn. Oh, sure, yeah. Like, like sure, very yeah. much you can still see it. Yeah. So, I I don't know what the deal is. And, uh, you know, whatever. I'm always binding at work. Yeah, right. You know, right. so, I don't know. I'm like, hi, how are you? Yeah. Hi, thanks for calling. And they're like, hi, ma'am. And I'm like... Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but that's just, so, like, energy coming out, too. I notice that's the same thing with my voice or pretty much anybody's voice. Like, any cisgender, transgender, anything. They When you talk and you get excited, your voice goes, goes up, up because you want to share yeah. about all this. And you... Right, like, yeah, I'm fucking excited. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, right. So, mm -hmm. I get misgendered all the time. So, I quickly, my, my dream of being stealth got pretty much stopped into the right. Like, right. I don't think my voice dropped a little bit, but I mean, and there's uh, trans people like uh, the ACLU lawyer Chase Strangio? Strangio? God, I feel like an asshole because I don't know how to say his last we name. We will pop it up on the screen if you're watching this on YouTube. We'll put it in the description if yeah, you're listening. Yeah, he's trans, and his voice... I, like, I see myself represented in him when he talks. He has a very yeah. light voice like me. Right. And he's very much a man with a very dark mustache, you know? Yeah. And I, you know, it's... I, I became okay with it. There are days when I'm, like, re really upset right. You're <laughs> at, like, at how on. my voice got, like, angry. Sure. Because my voice isn't as deep as some other guy's voices. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. There's surgery. As someone I know got surgery, the vocal cord surgery. Mm -hmm. And that's probably going to be on my list of 
uh, surgeries. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. The the second yeah. one. I mean, I only want two. Or sure. Three. So. Um, uh, it, it would be for me definitely, right. but I I'm also working on just being okay. Yeah. With my voice and that, you know, my beard is is still coming in. I'm. And this is all, again, under this concept of passing, or my idea of passing. Right. And, like, where's where's the line where it's dysphoria because of an internal struggle, me versus myself? Right. Or is it dysphoria because of an external force, me right. versus everyone perceiving me? Or does and your like, external force affect that inside of you you know or your right. own thoughts yeah yeah and like where what's the percentage how much is what sure. like yeah how if if i existed in a vacuum would i still be dysphoric if there was no one to right. perceive me right. would i still have these feelings right you know yeah and you'll find that the answer to that usually is no yeah so it really we're letting we're letting the it's it's the perception of other people upon ourselves, and this isn't to diminish the experience of dysphoria. It's very sure. real. Absolutely, but absolutely. Also, some of us aren't privileged enough, either now or like for a very long period of time, in which we have the opportunity to change these things: surgeries yeah. or hormones, what have yeah. you, or environment and, too. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So how do how do we be okay with these things in the meantime, or if there isn't a meantime, if it's just never going to be a part of our future because of whatever reason? How do you? Yeah. How do, how do you validate yourself? Yeah. You know. Yeah, and that's the kind of stuff that we want to like talk about we want to have like harder the tougher conversations and like obviously like me and you are two very polarizing different people but also very so much alike and i want i i like i want us to be able to look back on this podcast and look back on this video and be able to see like where you were back then and being like oh look at little baby me like trying to scrap it out and like waiting like when right now it doesn't seem you know what I mean? Like, it's immediate. Like, it will be. But it will go... F Once we're looking back, it'll seem like it's fast. Right, yeah. And yes, exactly. And we'll be able to see and how far we've come along. I have I was looking through my camera roll at, like, my, my first... This is my first day on testosterone, you know? Like, yes. <laughs> how we do. Yes, yes. Day one on T. And, um, trans guy culture. Yes. <laughs> and, um, at the time... It was, and I remember I was going through, I was taking pictures of myself every day mm -hmm. because I wanted to notice every little change that happened. Absolutely. And I, I was, I was so on it about doing my shot every week and I was like into it and looking back on it now, I'm like, that was so fast. Like it happened so fast. Right. At the time it took forever and I'm like, when the fuck? Yeah. I'm going to get a beer. When the fuck is my voice going to drop? Longest two months of my life. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> like... Uh, yeah. But now it's like, wow, that was... It was like I blinked and missed it. Yeah. You know? If I could go back, how much more I would document for myself. And every single yes. person that's listening, I know that not everybody want, can be on screen, can do a podcast, can find that within themselves to share so publicly. But... I just completely forgot my train of thought. I just, I just dropped it on the floor. Um. <laughs> See, this stuff happens to me all the time. Okay, that's fine. Screw this it. That's why we have where, our, our bullet list. Exactly. Here Pause. In, where are we? Pause. <laughs> Pause play. Why don't you tell us about, uh your experience swimming with trans tape and no shirt on. Right, yeah, being stealth at the water, at the public swimming pool. Yeah, yeah in uh, in the Bible Belt. Uh, <laughs> that was a little scary. I, I left, I always, I always leave my shirt on to the last second, and then I, I was just, 
I was just hoping that there wouldn't be anybody there the first time, and it ended, it ended up being just like an older lady, um, and me and my fiance and our niece were going, and so I was like, okay, there's one person in this whole pool, like, hell yeah, I can work with this, you know, like, I can ignore the one old lady in the corner that's floating thinking about her grandchildren, okay, and then the next time we come, fucking packed, dude, just packed, people everywhere, I'm like, no, oh my god, and like, you come to the pool, like, I already told Mariah that I was swimming, I already, you know what I mean, you bring the kids, and you're already committed, you said you would swim, so I mean, so it's a tricky situation to navigate that, um, and I just left my shirt on, and was like, okay, you guys go around, because she wanted to go down the steps, and I did not want to go down the steps, I wanted to just walk and boom, and underwater as fast as possible, um, and I kind of had to hype myself up to like even take my shirt off and, and go in the water and then I'm, I'm like, okay, I have to do this for, I have to do this. There could be an LGBT person right now who's in the closet that's sitting over there next to their mom, you know, that is, is nervous and doesn't know. It's, I, so of course I'm like, oh, okay, fuck it. So I take off my shirt and I jump in the, the eight foot or whatever and I get under the water and then it, it's always so much easier when you go under the water. For those yeah. people that haven't tried swimming with just trans tape, it's, it, when you, it's just like if you were in a bathing suit that you were nervous about, once you get in the water, and you're like you're good. It's that same. It's that same kind of feeling. So we're swimming, and then a giant uh, storm comes. Comes. You can tell it's kind of a brewing, and the kids, all the parents are getting the kids got ready to go, and and it's me and Kayla, and then there's this like family of, I, I say obviously Alabama fans because they were obviously Alabama fans, and that's really the only way I know to describe them because I don't know very much about them. So they were just on the other side of me, and. Um, uh, and the, of, of course right in front of the ladder and I'm trying to get out but I don't want to I would literally have to stand up face them f completely forward and walk completely ac all the way like across the, lo the length of the pool and they're gonna obviously see because uh, I'm trying to get to, it, it was a mess and so I'm like sitting there and I'm like I, had, I really was like struggling like I want to get out of the water I can't get out of the water I, I, I don't want to do this one this time like I don't want to you know and but it, and I just ended up having to take a deep breath and just pop up and run and do it and so I mean it's it's even like with my beard and my voice I I there's still so I mean it's it's obvious that there's something on my chest and they're looking at it like hmm like they would recognize a transgender person wearing a binder but trans tape isn't very I mean, it's nice. It's still very a new product that people are figuring out even exists. So these people, like I've had one kid say, uh, "Yo, look at that guy's look at that guy's band aids." Like, look, that, that dude's band-aids are huge. Like, And I'm turning around, and the kids are, like, six or seven, you know, and they're like, they were this big. And, you know, like, and because they don't know any, they're just like, what is this band-aid? That, like, that's what they see. And around here, it's not a lot of education, you know, so it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's tricky. It's tricky. Yeah. That's my experience so far. I still, I still don't like to go to the pool. I still... No, I, I, I prefer the lake river because you can be more like by yourself. Right. Kayla Kayla is not a swimmer of the lakes and the river. She's like, do you know the shit that is in this? I'm going to get a fungus. I'm not doing it. And I'm like, shit. I'm with Kayla. <laughs> so, yeah. So we, yeah. we figure it out. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I, I've never been to a pool with trans tape like i've never been to a public pool really but i have been to the beach okay i i used to live in delaware mm -hmm. and you know I, we go to rehoboth it's like the gay beach so i felt a oh, little yeah. safe there that's cool there's a joke that it's called people call it rehomo ah <laughs> uh. there's like a huge gay community <laughs> there and there's like a bunch of gay bars and stuff and, yes um that's nice yeah, so I feel a little safer there because of the gay community, you know, and I don't know. And also, like, like you said, I have I have to hype myself up. I was there with my boyfriend, who was cis, mm -hmm. and um, well, one thing I don't do is go alone. And um, I got a lot of stares. I usually do, but I think. 
it's because you know people th- pe- you're right people don't know what trans tape is so they're like are those bandages like what's wrong with him yeah <laughs> right like yeah. did he get what yeah. what's the matter you know like was, what's, did, was he in an accident like yeah he, like is he okay why sure. is it just on his chest why yeah. what is he doing at the beach in bandages is he yeah. okay someone you know? make like, him go rest <laughs> right yeah so um i and the last time i was at the beach shirtless i was wearing a binder and i was with another trans guy right and yeah you're right i think they recognize the binder and trans tape is something foreign to them still right so um i I felt a lot more comfortable and the ocean is opaque Yeah. yeah but the last time i went there was this group of teenagers like floating next to us okay i'm terrified so of the ocean. scared i'm i'm scared of the ocean oh, I, was was sca- going- I, I was saying i was scared of the group of teenagers i was like oh, oh that's yeah scary. No, no. i was like oh a group of teenagers next- no, no teenagers are terrifying next to me i know that's terrible but it, it's- oh my god so um Tim is like going, just like walking straight out into the ocean, sure. like it's fucking calling his name. And I'm like, "Where the fuck are you going? Like, what if I step on a crab? <laughs> what if it pinches me? What if I get a jellyfish on me? What yeah. will you pee on me? Why are you if I get so a jellyfish?" <laughs> and he's like, "Come on, come on!" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm trying." So I'm making him like carry me out there, and like. <laughs> Yeah. You know, have you ever seen like a like a little kid freak out in the ocean? Like they yes. they don't want you to put them down, so they're screaming. Yeah, that was me, and I'm not kidding. Oh my! And, <laughs> and then these teenagers are next to us, and I'm like, all right, I'm a 30 year old fucking man. I gotta stand up <laughs> in this ocean water. <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm like gonna piss myself. I'm so scared. I'm like standing on my tippy toes, getting foot cramps because I cannot touch the ground well is it like and it's I, the sensory thing right it's like between your toes is that it's like not it's not being able to see my oh, feet oh okay okay i'm thinking and like, like what, the, what, the, what the just toes. touched me you know oh god because if anything alive touched me aaron i would simply pass away me too I, i'm I the same i did couldn't you see, do it did you see the drag queen the the golden drag kings and uh, stories about the minnows with the fish on her fucking on her toes feet? exfoliating her, her feet minnows see, but you know i don't i don't think i would mind that because i could see you know i could see my feet and then kick them away if i wanted to or like you know no i could deal with that it's no. the not seeing and then the ocean things sure ocean things hurt you you know yeah, right crabs hurt right jellyfish hurt right uh sharks. fucking sharks hurt sharks hurt, <laughs> hurt. <laughs> like the, the fucking the rocks hurt right. i don't know you step on an oyster, that shit hurts. Yeah. So Tim was saving you. <laughs> so, yeah, so I was clinging to Tim like a monkey does a tree sure. and um, trying not to scream next to these teenagers. And guess what? The, they start, these teenage boys, they start, they start calling each other faggots. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, you had no. to, you had to go and do some <laughs> shit like they, that. They're calling each other <laughs> faggots and not like a... No. Not like a, if I were to call you a faggot. Not in an <laughs> you know? endearing way. Like Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, you faggot. <laughs> See, it's different. It's like it's like the it's N-word. Not... I don't I don't know. I don't know. They were not reclaiming that slur. No. <laughs> is all I can say. I don't blame And I was you. just standing on my tippy toes, afraid for my life in the ocean. <laughs> Waves. You know, get knocked down by the waves. I freaking a wave took my ass all the way to shore, dragged my pants, my Aaron, my trunks came down. No, Aaron, my trunks came down. Is that true? <laughs> oh my gosh! My trunks came down. I was sitting. It's a good thing I'm fat. Is all I have to say because my belly and thighs <laughs> were discreetly hiding. covered the bits. <laughs> And uh, I very <laughs> elusively pulled up my shorts while I was sitting down. Of course. Scooping up a load of sand. <laughs> like, oh my god. And, <laughs> and then I had to walk back into the ocean and squat and like shake, shake it out. That's- <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, oh my god, it bro, was... that is awful. <laughs> it was so horrible. Oh, bro. <laughs> so, anyway, um... Yeah, people didn't seem to, uh, really think anything about the trans tape except that, uh, you know, maybe you there were, were bandages. being carried away into the ocean. Right. Into shore. <laughs> At least you were going this the right man, direction. When my shorts fell off and I got washed ashore, I was, like, literally right next to this poor man standing right next to me, and he was like, Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I was my ass is out, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight. You need anything? <laughs> oh my god. Oh Bo. fuck. Okay. We have to go to the ocean, Bo, and it's gonna be an episode yes. here. Oh my god. It's there, listen. You know, Check so the YouTube dramatic. because I hopefully. have to get water shoes. Same. Are you okay? Did you not see me at the Trans State Festival try to go up there with my socks? And I think oh, someone yes. called me out because I was yes. trying to get away with it. And someone yes. was like, yo, take your socks off. I'm like, damn yes. it. Mind your business. Uh, yes. Ooh. Oh, my God. But they I really called you out. They said, take your fucking socks off. Dude, I don't oh like that shit, man. I don't like shit touching my feet. I can't, I can't like, these barefooted people that, like, walk across gravel. You might as well be, like, walking across nails that have bees all over them. Like, I don't know how y'all do that. I don't get it. Oh my god, you got baby feet. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't do it, no. Next subject. Bottom dysphoria. Bottom dysphoria. Do you experience bottom dysphoria, Aaron? Oh, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Really? Is I, it all the time? Is it, like, constant? I, I am very good at compartmentalizing things. I think that is something that I can very, like, it's in that box. And I don't, you know what I mean? Like mentally, as I go about my day, I am trying more Packers prosthetics more often lately. Now that I have, like, I have my own house and everything, I have space and I'm, I feel comfortable to do that and like try that kind of stuff. I'm very picky because I'm like really big on, like, I'm, I'm a sensory sensitive oh. individual. I like, I can't wear like, crew socks because they go up the sides of my ankle i'm i just oh got all God. i have all kinds of things i just yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm very particular yeah. so um <laughs> I mean, I, so i'm still trying okay. to figure out the solution for that but yeah i do have bottom dysphoria all, a ton yeah a ton yeah see that and i do not have a general feeling of bottom dysphoria yeah really sometimes what i would describe my urge to pack would be a like a confidence boost. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. Having yeah. A dick in that, my pants yeah, that makes sense. Me feel, <laughs> it makes sense feel to like me. Like a bad bitch. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I do, I do feel euphoria when I when I had an STP mm -hmm. and used it. Mm -hmm. I was fucking stoked. Yeah. But I have zero issue with my vagina. Right. And how it operates in its sure. many ways. Sure. And um Yeah. I I have I have no no need or want or plans for bottom surgery ever. Wow, yes, good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I yeah. do I do wanna s I do wanna note that um my bottom dysphoria is not as bad as some people that I've seen inside the group. Like inside of the Lone Wolf District or other like Facebook support groups or Discords, it's mine's not as bad as some. Some people like literally cannot have sex with their significant other because they are so affected by it, and I <laughs> don't have that problem. So your dysphoria isn't as bad as some people in. Yeah, like, like I can, I can enjoy, I, I like, it, I can enjoy sex with my partner. Like, oh my god, I hate the word partner. I don't know why I just said that. I, 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 I love. I can enjoy it. I, I, I wish it. My, my job would be a whole lot easier if I had the tools that I wish I had. But, right. <laughs> but uh, I don't feel like it affects me or affects my sex life in any way. Um, I right. think, of course, it would be a thousand percent enhanced uh, if I had everything I wish I had. Um, s but yeah, so I, and as far as surgery plans for the future, I couldn't. Um, I, it's it'll be. I think it'll be a minute in medicine, and I think I have to do so much research, and I'd have to see so many before and afters, and that's a lot of research, and that's a lot of 
And it's a lot of research that, like, you, you have to be in the right frame of mind for. So it seems to be right. like it always kind of gets put off, like, I'll, I'll learn more about that and look more into it later, or you look more into it and you know your options, and then you're like, oh, but finding a... And then how much, oh, the number, we'll forget it anyways, and, you know, this so... Is, this yeah. is a good point you're bringing up, because I was talking with a friend, Alistair, who is looking into getting his top surgery. He's raising funds for it currently. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to donate to his top surgery, I just want to mention his Instagram is at wasted.paint. Yes. And he's accepting uh, GoFundMe donations for his top surgery right now. Oh, that's awesome. And um, he's a great guy. He's been working as well off of the Amazon. Cool. Busted, but trying to get get this stuff together yes and we were talking about it because i i get into these points you know i'll i'll i'm very much about the positive self-talk and i know you are too that I am. was uh something that you brought up in the lone wolf district mm -hmm. um yeah it's it's super important and it's it's more powerful than people think the power of the word is so important yes. Yes. and as you get older, I find that you find that to be more of a predominant thing in your life, that things that you speak, speak, in, speak themselves into reality. You, yeah. know, you, manifest you will it. see it's, that shit. Right. However you want, whatever it. you want to call it, and the many, many names it has, there's so many different definitions and all that, but at the end of the day, yeah, that's, what it, that's exactly what it is. Right. So, I feel when I... I'll get into these, like, you know, some boys have titties, like, whatever. Sure, Look yeah. At me. Like, I have Funny, trans tape, and it's fine, and I'm great. Yeah. Um, and I can feel it sometimes. Sometimes I'm feeling it. Yeah. Right, and some, yeah, and, and, right, and I'm like, okay, whatever, like, I'm a bad bitch. But then other times I'm like, I swear to God, if I don't get top surgery, I'm going to lose it. I'm not leaving my <laughs> room. I'm not leaving my yeah. room. I need a yeah, I can't. You put on a shirt and it's like I'm not flat enough. I'm not flat enough. Like nothing is ever gonna get me flat enough. Fuck Why are this one. On me? Fuck that one. Fuck right. This one. None I get so fits. hot and sweaty and I want to jump off a bridge and punch myself and pull my hair out. Um, also, you so, can't put trans tape on when you're sweaty. Just so you guys know. Right. Yeah. So, exactly. So forget that. And I have a skin condition called CIU, chronic idiopathic urticaria, which means I get chronic, so all the time. Hives, your tachyria is hives, and idiopathic means we don't know why. No, it means so no I clue. Get, I get chronic hives all the time for no reason or for multiple reasons. I oh. found that I have several triggers, one of which is stress. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so I'll be stressed that I have titties, sure. and then <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm surprised you can use trans tape. What? I'm surprised you can use trans tape with your skin condition. Yeah. Yes. Uh. uh it's a lot of hacks, like sure. using ice packs. Oh, yeah. Because I, I do, when I do get flare-ups, I do get it under the tape. Yeah. And you and I both know you're not supposed to scratch over the sure. tape because that's going to cause a lot of undue friction. Yeah, absolutely. And it's going to mess your skin up. Yes. I'm always telling Aaron to stop scratching. When we're on video, I see him scratch. <laughs> I'm like, you better stop it. <laughs> this is the first... I took a week and a half off, two weeks almost off, of because I've had COVID, so we've been home, so... Right. I didn't wear anything, and then I just put tape on yesterday, and I'm just feeling like a thousand bucks, and it's not itching, so I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I we're took, still learning, and we're going to make so many episodes about trans tape, y'all are going to be yes. sick of hearing it. I took a three-day break, and this application's been on for two days. I haven't wanted to itch once. Oh, nice. That I'm lying. I had an itchy spot right here, mm -hmm. so I just, I just lifted the tape up and cut it right there, and now I'm yeah. fine. We'll leave it alone. Give it some air. Sure. It's good. I put some salve on it right there. Totally fine. Love it. Bam. Oh, I literally was just taking clips. Trans tape. Oh my gosh. So much good content coming to their Instagram too. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. According to the notes. <laughs> chapter three. According. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Bottom dysphoria. We talked about that. Yep. Binding with asthma slash wild fat. 
mentions Aaron, mention Aaron's discount code for his top surgery fund. Hey, guys! Aaron C. A-A-Ron C. at checkout at transtape.life yep. will save you money on your package and also donate a small amount to Aaron's top yes. surgery fund. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's eat them teats! Yes, I'm on the, on the path to get top surgery. And yes, oh my god. It oh, will, It will happen. What it, circling back, before we move on to this next topic, Yes. when um, something I wanted to mention that we talked about at the Transtape Festival is enjoying your anatomy as it mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Because you discussed, if it's okay for me to yeah. mention... No, you're good, go ahead, yeah. ...that you... A possible um, delaying of your top surgery till after your honeymoon night because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean you enjoy your current upper anatomy sometimes. Yeah, I'm able to for sure. I think the sensation is nice. I I can enjoy that. I I think the lack of seeing trans bodies is yes. tough. Um, so it's also, it's hard to even see my own trans body and like, be like, okay, damn, like I can work with some of this. Like I, I can feel good about this or that or so. Yeah. So I am delaying my, my top surgery. Um, I do because one, I make a lot of content with trans tape and I like educating people and I want to make sure that I've, I feel good about the amount of content and I know I put a lot of content out, but I'm, I'm, I have so much more planned. So I'm waiting. I just, I just want to make sure that. Disclaimer. Um, that I want to make sure I do everything that I want to do with them. And Disclaimer, Aaron regularly gets it on. I mean, <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 Up top, Aaron's a slut. <laughs> Wrong. I am engaged. <laughs> I am engaged and happily engaged. <laughs> I am, yeah. So yes, I I I can enjoy them. I want to I want to be able to enjoy them, and I want to make sure that I'm not rushing choosing my surgeon, which is another big one. Um, I could, of course, you can choose the one that's nearest to you, or you can save a little longer and go to someone that's farther from you that has more before after pictures. So yeah, I'm I'm not ready yet, but um, I will be ready soon. Yeah, that's awesome. That's just I think it's are. really important to know uh, for our listeners that there's multiple ways to be trans. Yeah. And hating your body is not one of them. No. That, no. We don't want people to ever feel that way. Ever. Right. So. And, uh, despite what some discourse from some people might say, dysphoria does not equal transness. I agree thousand percent. You can experience it or you can not experience it. You sure. are valid as A hundred percent. That is our yeah. uh, uh, I'm glad our we're opinion. on the same page with that. If you're not, yes. I don't know if you should. I mean, you can subscribe if you want to, but that's just not how we do things around here. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Moving on. Binding while fat and yes. with respiratory disease. Respiratory. So, Felix, you will see Aaron. Yeah. This is my topic now. This is your chapter, (laughs) chapter bow. Um, I am also chunky, and my my technique has evolved. But Bo, this is Bo's. I learned from Bo, so take the chapter. It's way more tape than you, though. So you do, yes. I I could use more. I could. Honestly, I don't go anywhere. I work from home. So I go from, like, inside the house to my building and back. So Yeah. It's fine. Tell so, these people. Uh, tell these people. As we know, I'm fucked up head to toe. I've already mentioned my skin condition, CIU. I also have... <coughs> Jesus. We smoke. We're smoking. <laughs> this is a token trans, so we're smoking and coughing, and that's just how it has to happen. Yeah, it just happens, yeah. Yeah. So I also have pretty severe asthma as I'm smoking weed. Well. But that's okay. Yeah. Um, <coughs> weed is a bronchodilator and also it is how I medicate my other conditions in the old noggin, you know? Yeah. Oh, that'll be episode also. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's that's for another day. We got, but, we got it planned, folks. So as a weed smoker with pretty severe asthma, and also a trans guy right. who's fat with pretty big titties, you know, who's got chest dysphoria, got a bind. 
wearing a compression binder, a traditional binder, is not the motherfucking way, is all I gotta say. Because, first of all, I'm fucking fat. That shit is not comfy, and it's so... They make them all, like... Oh my god, I, I could go on this forever. They're not... Like, everybody's body is different, and they all the ones in the one size are all the one size. Yeah. And, That's like, true. not everybody... You know what I'm saying? Like, my titties it, hang It low. goes my somewhere else. Everybody's <laughs> right. goes somewhere Yes, it goes somewhere else. So my titties hang low. I needed a longer binder, but, like, I can't always afford the full tank. It's so fucking expensive. And also, then, I look like a can of biscuits fucking popped open because I'm fat. That shit ain't realistic for it my don't, body type. I don't feel confident in it either. I feel like I'm, like, saran-wrapped in every yes. inch, every inch of your rolls or... I mean, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you sit, you sit, and then you're like, no, like, <coughs> I got you. And then you. you get the cleavage, and you're always doing this. And dudes don't do this. Yeah, you know? and, yeah, we're like not trying to have cleavage. That's the point of wearing right. it. Right. Yeah. So, um, where was I? Was browsing Insta. Oh, and oh my God, my back, the slouching, yeah, the pain. And they say you can only wear it, wear it for eight hours, but I'd be at work for ten plus. You know hours what yeah. am i gonna do take it off a the lot of people shift? work more than eight hours a day yeah like that's just not it, it's what you should do right but there's also not a lot of research done and we do know that it causes musculoskeletal damage so i was on instagram and i saw you know i'm following more trans accounts and i saw i think it must have been like on my for you page or something like that mm -hmm. someone wearing trans tape someone very thin <laughs> And it was always thin people, you know, back in the beginning. Right. Back in the before days. Uh, are you talking about the Instagram? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. The Instagram. Yes. And the tag. It yes. was a lot of skinny people with tiny titties. Yes, and, and the logo looked like this. Yes, yes, the logo looked like that. Sorry, yeah. as you were. That's really bringing it back. <laughs> and, um... I tried KT tape because that's what I was seeing these skinny guys do, and I literally went used a whole roll. <laughs> yep. For and it was it's like twenty dollars. Yeah. And it's, this the strips are this big. I had to cut them in half because they were so long. I had to cut them in half and then layer them and pull them in such a way my skin was ripped to shreds, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this so is a trans thin. tape small. That's, oh my this god. This is KT See, tape. It's like a third bigger. Yeah, I had to cover it for my trans tape clip so we don't get sued. But yeah. that's how small <laughs> it is. Yeah. So, oh, wow. yeah. It, this so, is this would take a lot of tape for anybody. Either yeah. Small or not small. Yes. Yes, it takes, I mean, some very, very small people can use it. And that's what I saw. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll just use more. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> that shit tore me to shreds it was so painful so then i saw trans tape and i was like no way because it's going to be the same thing as sure. tape. no yeah. first of all <laughs> it's bigger i used the large and like it took me a while but i knew like even when i was getting it wrong it felt more supportive and i always felt like okay if i could just get it this way and this way and then um Kai had messaged me seeing my, like, review on Instagram or whatever, and he was like, he was like, round your corners. I wasn't rounding my corners. And right. he was like, you need to round your corners, that'll stop the blisters. And I was like, all right, okay. And Bad. I did. And it did. He was right. Right. <laughs> round your corners. He made this and, stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I was having issues following the instruction manual that it came with. Mm -hmm. That way wasn't really working for me. Yeah. And I was getting frustrated. The method. Then, the method of... That it shows. Yes. In the, the manual. The illustrated method that it shows. Yeah. It wasn't really working for me. Sure. Because my titties were so big, it was just kind of wrapping my titties instead of binding them down. Yeah. And I... No matter what I did on my own, wasn't working. But then Kai suggested laying on my back. So I laid on my back, and that made it better, but not all the way. 
So then he suggested bending forward. And I was like, what? How is that going to help? And he said, if you bring the fat all the way down and then push it to the side while you're bent over, like gravity is going to help you. Right. And that's what worked. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got a really good bind. Nice. And eventually I started playing around with um, using a vertical piece. Yeah. And that really helped pull up pull up the shape into that peck shape. Yeah. And I'm also I'm also fat, so like this kind like this kind of titty is normal. I mean fat guys have titties. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Like it's you don't you we're not we're not trying to go completely to zero. You wanna just right. make the shape of the peck. We're doing a comfortable, realistic bind. Exactly. With a, a realistic silhouette is what we're trying to achieve. Comfortable. It yes. Should be, comfortable. It should be pretty close to <laughs> comfortable, comfortable. Yes. It's, yes, it should be. So, there's zero compression here. I have no pressure on my ribs because it ends right here. Yep. Does it, you know? it does there's not nothing. go all the way around. It does not go all the way around. I'm not. I have full range of motion. I have full ability to breathe. I can take my medication in whatever form I'm able. Yeah. Sometimes my asthma is bad enough that I can't. In which case, I change my method. But this is the easiest method for me, and with my asthma medication and not being freaking constricted for 12 hours a day with right. a binder, I'm like. How often can you sit and look at you? Like, I'm looking at myself while we're recording this, and I... How often can you sit looking at yourself with no shirt on and enjoy it? Yeah, you know? and be like, oh, okay, yeah. Right. Come lay on my chest. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And, like, it feels weird at first, because when's the last time you taped your chest to the side? <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. Like, if it's your first time using trans tape, you've likely never felt that sensation A before. thousand percent no. You're like, You're, and, I'm yeah. supposed to just take this tape and know how to... No. Right. Yeah. And there, we have several tutorials on our YouTube. Yes. We've got we a ton do. and more coming. Right. Yes. That's the important thing. Because there's so many different types of bodies... And if yeah. you're a regular trans tape user and you have found your own method, it would really benefit other people for you to upload your own tutorial. Sure. Like tag yes. us or do it on TikTok or yep. YouTube, whatever you whatever method you Instagram. Yeah. And it would really help. You can share your, your tutorial and it'll really help our customers. Absolutely. The more bodies yes. that we have represented, the better. Yeah. And more people can see someone that looks more like them on the screen. Yes. And that's yeah, what absolutely. That's what we're trying to do around here. Absolutely. And, um... Oh, look, on our list here, we, we have, uh... Chapter 4. <laughs> the myth of passing slash catering to the cis. Catering to the cis. Basing your worth on the cis believing your gender is a slippery slope, Aaron. <laughs> it is. And you could fall on your face. I just think that the it's it's understandable to have it be a goal because it feels you good. Know, it feels good. It does. It does feel good. But also getting that you you, can, you shouldn't depend on that to feel good in your own gender because that's when it becomes unhealthy. Yeah. And catering, but, yeah. catering to cis people is not how we get what we need from them. It's dangerous, and that's it's dangerous. not how you should live your life. It's causing an expectation that's harming the rest of the trans community. Yeah. And people like me, who might not pass because their voice might not reach a range that is passable, um, and who act feminine... Mm -hmm. Might not get a beard, you know. Yeah. Enjoy wearing a skirt, wearing right. makeup, right? And gets misgendered. Passing is something that that harms gender expression because you're saying that 
as a man, I have to look and exist and sound and behave and carry myself in this manner so that I can be gendered correctly. And I am absolutely guilty of that because I make decisions going out the house right. that are like, what's going to help people Yeah. see me as I am? Oh shit, this is definitely not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in doing that, I sacrifice some of myself because I want to go out with my hair in two buns. Yeah. And wearing sparkly lip gloss. Yeah. And I stopped wearing makeup in general because I got tired of getting misgendered, even though I feel much more confident with my eyebrows filled in. Sure. And yeah. It's, it's... That's so it's, dangerous. Yeah. Your happiness... Your true happiness isn't worth sacrificing it so that you can get that little ounce of serotonin from the cis people gendering you correctly. When we need to be our most, our, our job as trans people is to be our most authentic selves so that we can normalize our existence so that the next generation of trans people who want to wear skirts if they're more masculine or be a Absolutely. tom girl if they're more fe- or a tomboy if they're more feminine. Absolutely. So that they can exist in this way without having to deal with the pressure of wanting to pass. Yeah. We have to eliminate this. Yeah. I, I really it's, I really think so. Yeah. Stealth stealth has its you know, you you wanting to be stealth for, for safety reasons, for sure. you know, family reasons, for any other reason, you're, whatever reason you have wanting for being stealth is totally valid, and you're not in, indebted to anyone. Right. You don't owe to it people. to anybody. Yes, you don't. You don't owe being out as trans to anyone, and that's yeah. not what I'm saying. But if you are in a comfortable enough position to be mm-hmm. existing as an out trans person, I'm not saying you have to scream it at the top. Visible. Of the box, right. A visible trans person is. Such a tool. <laughs> not, I mean, it's such an asset. <laughs> not like a tool. <laughs> yeah, man, these trans got fucking tools, man. <laughs> it's, no, it's such no. an asset it's to asset. the future generation yeah. and how they, how we can set up their future for their expression and how we can eliminate a generational trauma just by being our most authentic selves. And I mean, that's why I'm so visible on social media, Mm -hmm. acting the way that I do, because I don't act typically masculine. Mm -hmm. I never have. Why would I start just because I realized I was a man? And you're supposed to. Yeah, quote unquote. I like, I play Animal Crossing and I like makeup and I like pink things and, you know, suck my fucking dick. What are you going to do about it? Like, back the fuck up, yeah. I, I learned this from somebody, and this uh, I, this is my mantra that I say uh, sometimes when I'm, like, psyching myself out of, like, wearing something I want to yeah. wear. Who's going to beat my ass about it? Yeah. Who? Is anybody going to beat my ass about it? Sure. No? All right. Then I'm fucking wearing my, my yeah. red overalls. Yeah. Because that's what I want to wear. Yeah. That's what I want to fucking wear. I'm going to fucking wear my, yeah. I paint my nails. Who's going to beat my ass about it? Fucking and that's no something one. you could say in the house, like when you're psyching yourself up, and you could be at the bar in your head, like, man, none of these motherfuckers are going, who's going to beat my ass no. about it? You know what I mean? Like, no none of y'all motherfuckers it. are going to say shit. All you're going to be doing over there is whispering while I'm getting drunk with my hot date, back the fuck up. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's at just how it is. Without a shirt on, who's going to beat my ass about it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm going in the men's room. Who's going to beat my ass about it? Yeah. No one. Mm hmm. Not a damn soul. <laughs> yes. Please do so safely, also. So, um. Yeah, yeah, definitely do so safely. And, uh, here we have our, our ending tagline here. Yes. The point is, there's so many ways to be trans stealth or not, dysphoria or not. You're allowed to exist as you are. You deserve to be recognized. You deserve to be recognized. Amen. I feel like Bo says so many good things that, like, you're like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, repeat that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's good, Bo. Also, because of like Bo's beautiful technique and trans tape, uh, use Bo 10 when you go to check out if you're using... No, no we're using Aaron C because Aaron is saving money for his top surgery. Fund. But Bo has his own technique, so use Bo 10. I don't have my own technique. Use my technique, but then use Aaron's code, please. That is my demand. As the owner of my own code, (laughs) 
I would like to relinquish my code over to Aaron's code, please. I appreciate that. If you that. like my tutorial and you benefit from my method, you code AAVRON. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. <laughs> You're sick and twisted. I love you. <laughs> I love you, and I'm so glad we're doing this. I think it's going to be yes. good. We have, obviously, have so many topics to go down. We're going to have, you know, I think we'll probably end up taking them one at a time and just dive. You know what I mean? Just talk all about it because there's so much to be said. I feel like there's so much education to be done. And, um... Yeah, so if you enjoyed this podcast, if you enjoyed this video, you know I'm going to already ask you to drop a like and subscribe right. because you love us. You like, like you that. are you like our personalities? I mean, we're dressed nice. Uh, we like to uh, talk to you. We're going for the Blues Clues Steve vibe that just happened. Like, we're just, we're here for you. And you can just come and... Great, bitch. Yes. <laughs> exactly. We're here to help you feel good and to learn and educate others on what it's like to be trans in today's society. So, yeah. And smoke hella weed. And smoke hella weed. We didn't talk about yeah. that a lot this round, but Lord. Follow Aaron on TikTok. Yes. And join his Facebook group, The Lone Wolf District. Do to that. his monthly giveaways based on engagement and activity. It's so fun. Yes. Please. And you win crap. Yes. What? Um, what? And you win crap! You win crap, yeah. You, I mean, gender and affirming like, supplies crap? save lives. Oh my god, it rhymes. Oh my god, it just made a t shirt of itself. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe. We love you. And, yeah.